So off the top of my head, I can think of a few cities in the States that have a very specific way of making their pizza, mainly with the crust, because there's the New York style, which is really thin. You got the Detroit, which is kind of like a rectangular shape and kind of thick. And then you have the Chicago style deep dish, which is thick, thick. Last time I tried to make pizza dough on the show, it, it started out as a tire fire. I was able to recover. There was a happy conclusion, but still, yikes. It's pizza time. So when it comes to Chicago style pizza dough, it's a bit of a hot topic. And for this next little part, I'm gonna be walking on eggshells. I know it. I guess it depends on which side of Chicago you're from, but there's two camps involved here. One that believes that this pizza dough includes cornmeal, and then there's the other side that says, no, you're wrong, it's corn oil. I've never even been to Chicago, so I don't really wanna pick sides. But I guess I already have because I'm using corn oil. First things first, warm water, sugar, packet of instant yeast. Give it a mix, leave it alone for 10 minutes. Get a bowl, add your flour, salt, and that controversial corn oil. Your proofed mixture with your trusty hand mixer with the dough hook attachment. Knead this up into a nice round ball. Now I'm gonna do the rest with my hands. In a buttered bowl, add your smooth round dough ball. Let the yeast do its thing, couple hours. So the dough is still rising, which is great, which is great because it's the perfect opportunity for us to prep everything else. Firstly, we're gonna make our own pizza sauce. Combine a can of tomatoes, tomato paste, salt, basil, oregano, Fresh ground pepper, whatever onion powder you have left, garlic powder, little bit of sugar. Whisk it with that Chicago style deep dish pizza. They like it with pork in it. Sausage, I'm not a big pork guy. I don't eat it ever, really. So what I'm gonna do instead is I have a whole cornucopia of vegetables here and I'm gonna use these instead. Peppers, mushroom, garlic, and an onion. Uh-oh, here come the waterworks. Your recipe is gonna need some mozzarella cheese, Lots of it. I'm gonna cut these into uh, slices. It's dough time. I've had this hanging out, letting the yeast rise for, oh, probably four to five hours. Sometimes you don't get the rise and it's not as satisfying, but that's satisfying. Punch this down, this beautiful puffy dough and we're gonna let it hang out for like 10 minutes and that's gonna allow the gluten to relax. We're gonna prep our pizza pan, which is just a cake pan. Let's oil the pan. Now that your dough's nice and relaxed. Whoa, this is way too much. With that. We're pushing the dough up against the sides, but making sure there's a healthy amount on the bottom. Well, add the mozzarella cheese, veggies, pizza sauce, and finally, that's right, that's Parmesan cheese, grated on the top. Bake this 35 minutes. Halfway through baking this thing, I noticed how runny the whole thing was turning into. I could see it bubbling and I was like, oh, that's not good. I went into damage control in the oven and I started scooping out some of the, the liquid and then I put on some fresh pizza sauce and I thought it would hide everything. Obviously, the crust has burnt all around the edges, which isn't ideal. This is obviously the shittiest part about having a cooking show is you can spend all day on something and it 
turns into something that looks like that. Can, oh, I know this isn't the Food Network, but there is some sort of responsibility here. And do I just call it a day with this or do I redo it? That is the question. I slept on it. I've decided I'm going to redo the pizza. What I found from yesterday was that my pizza was way too runny. This is a common problem with Chicago style pizzas if not done right. Let's get into it. Problem number one is this pizza sauce. It's more like pasta sauce. Good job, Jamie. What I'm gonna to try to do to thicken this thing up is add some tomato paste and I'm just gonna whisk it in. The other mozzarella from yesterday was just, just soaking wet. I had bought uh, the very wet one, which I think is better for like salads or something, I don't know. Now the peppers and the mushrooms have a lot of water inside them. So what I'm gonna do with my veggies is sear them in a burning hot frying pan for like five minutes. No oil, nothing. I've already gone ahead and made my pizza dough. You'll notice that I put in substantially less amounts of everything into this pie to make sure that the crust is high enough over top of everything. Now I'm gonna throw this into the oven, which has been preheated to 25 minutes, half an hour. I'll keep an eye on it. Feeling good. from yesterday <sighs> makes us taste a whole lot better. I am so happy I redid that. Oh, that is a super good lesson in if it doesn't work, try, try again, because you're gonna learn things the second time around. I definitely did. The crust is absolutely on point. You can taste that corn oil in there. It's a game changer. I've never had that corn oil taste in my pizza before and holy shnikes, it's really delicious. I want more of this one. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Very much appreciate it. If you liked it, you can subscribe. That way you can stay tuned for everything anti-chef. You can hit that thumbs up over is that Vin Diesel? You can like this video. There's like a thumbs up over here or here somewhere. You can comment down below. And thank you very much to the names on my right. Uh, those guys are supporting me on Patreon and I really appreciate that. I'll see you guys soon, bye.